Hi, my name is Leithan Murphy and this is my son Cool Ryan. He's two and a half nearly years old and Cool was diagnosed with a Leber's congenital amaurosis when he was eight months old. My husband mostly noticed that he wasn't tracking and tracing as a really young baby. Transpired that my doctor took one look at him at about five months old and said straight to the ophthalmologist and really didn't expect such a definitive diagnosis at all. And they ran one test, saw that his eyes weren't responding to any of the light cues. I think it's fair to say we were quite devastated initially, floored for sure. Um, I think as two sighted people in a really, really sighted world. Cool is tremendous. He's full of beans usually, as you can see. He fell asleep due to his full of beansness today. Um, and uh, he both hates and loves his little sister. So he's like any normal, hopefully two year old. It's a very different way to bringing up or teaching a little person different things. You have to be really hands on and really practical. I don't think anybody out there with sighted children really understands how much they learn through sight and how different that is when you don't have sight even like drinking out of a cup cool has no concept of drinking out of a cup whereas my little daughter uh, shuin she sees the cup she sees you drinking from the cup and then she wants the cup instantly whereas cool still has no interest in a cup and just doesn't understand the concept because he can't see it but it's also a blessing like i feel Really glad that we're one able to, to be able to teach him um, and that Cool is pretty receptive to all of the good and bad habits that he has been learning. <laughs> today. Where are you today? Where are you today? What? One, two, three, Come on, one, Cool. Four, nine, Come four, over to Bobby. Uh, I'm Laura Finnegan. I am a postdoc in Jane Farrer's lab here in Trinity College, and I work on the Target 5000 project, funded by Fighting Blindness. What's very interesting about working on genetic conditions and you know, characterizing genetic conditions is some people, their variants that are causing the disease are very easy to find. They have a variant that is, you know, it's in, it's in the protein coding region, which is where we look at first, and it's in a gene that we know about. Whereas other people, they have ones that are far more elusive. They're much harder to find. And I think sometimes people think, oh, you know, I've been waiting for ages. I haven't, you know, someone's forgotten about me, but actually we're still working. It's just, we just need to look in more places. When someone can, comes in, we look in the protein coding regions of their genome, but that's only a tiny little piece of their genome. But what we'd really love to do is look at their entire genome. But to do that, it, it costs a lot of money, so it would be brilliant if we had enough money to, to sequence everybody's genomes that we have. And I mean, the cost, it's coming down more and more. It's not astronomical anymore, so that little bit extra uh, funding would, would really help a lot of people. When I discovered fighting blindness, I didn't know that there was work ongoing to help solve a lot of what causes blindness in the world. And it gives you faith in, in the world that maybe someday Cool will be given the choice to live in a sighted world. To offer that as a choice uh, and to give that hope is, is really, is huge. Cool, I have great hopes for Cool. I hope he'll always be safe. I think in the current climate that's I still expect him to get A's all round and go to school and <laughs> nail his spelling test through Braille. Um, but yeah, I have big dreams for him. Fighting blindness gives so much hope and support to the visually impaired community in Ireland. And I think it's not just that, like fighting blindness drive innovation and cures for very niche diseases, the effects will probably be seen beyond the eye um, in terms of its, its sight uh, and fighting blindness are the only charity in Ireland to offer that support or service to the Irish community. If it's the future of eye care, whether that's visually impaired or eye health, you couldn't support a better charity than supporting fighting blindness. We support Fighting Blindness because they're the only organisation in Ireland investing in a treatment and cure for sight loss. Please donate today. Just 50 euros will help us find a cure.